Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Liva Ellis here. Thanks again for watching and welcome to my new subscribers. If you're new to my channel, I'm trying to bring you cryptocurrency news in an entertainment kind of way so it's easy for you to digest. So, today I want to continue with a video that I shot two weeks ago with regards to if Genesis Mining is profitable, yes or no. And it should be clear to everybody that the use case is as follows. So basically, the use case is, is Genesis Mining profitable in terms of the amount of coins that you will receive whenever you purchase $2,250 of Genesis Mining Dash X11 versus buying $2,250 of Dash directly via the exchange. So in my opinion, it is more profitable or at least you will receive more coins whenever you buy it directly via the exchange versus the period of two years that you will mine Dash. But of course, I do not have any proof for that. I did, just did a calculation based on the difficulty increase. And now it's the second week that I'm testing this. So I will show you my results so far. And I have also received a response from Genesis Mining. So let's go. So to my new subscribers, let me first do a recap of my Genesis Mining account. So as you can see, I have 125 terahertz for Bitcoin mining and I have 1217 megahertz for Dash mining. So it doesn't make sense to go to the payouts, payouts and have a clear overview because as you can see it's a little bit unstructured right here. So I've added everything in an Excel file and it's in Dutch so sorry for the labels guys but I need this for uh, the IRS. Up until now, I've invested like 16k in Genesis Mining and I've started on the 21st of February and I've generated 1.89 BTC and 29 Dash at the moment, which has a total value of 5.2k euros. So if we look at this and the amount that I'm still red right now it means that in approximately six months i will break even on my 16k and the assumption then is of course that the price of bitcoin will at this this uh, price and the price of dash will be on this price so you might think 16k is a lot of money but then you probably will go crazy if you hear what my total portfolio is of all the coins that I've invested outside of Genesis Mining just by buying. Just to give you a sneak peek, this is not even 10% of my portfolio. So if we go back at the 1st of May, because that is the baseline, something weird is going on. Because I've sent a mail to Genesis Mining on the 1st of May with regards to my findings and the calculations and stuff seems to go up. So I want to hear from you guys as well. If your Bitcoin mining is going up, at least. For Dash, it fluctuates as usual. So as you can see here, on the 2nd of May, it's like 18% less versus the 1st of May. You can see all the differences here compared to the previous day. So yeah, not enough evidence so far. So I will keep you posted on that. Let's go to the mail of Genesis Mining with their response. So they are saying, we provide a mining infrastructure where you can mine at fixed costs that are exactly what the costs and risks are. So that's a, that's a fair point, huh? they are right. So basically they make it very easy uh, for you to use uh, the infrastructure. So that's a, that's a fact. What the mining will return is another matter and depends on external factors such as mainly mining difficulty. Dash difficulty is not steady, it's up and down by quite large margins all the time. And day-to-day -day earnings can vary, vary, vary? Greatly. <laughs> but the general rule applies that the more successful and favorable a coin is, the more people will mine it, which has an effect on mining difficulty. True. Following the current trend, the difficulty is rising slowly, but so is value. 
but for the last for the large period it's hard to predict how much either will grow they could even drop again so yeah getting back to this point but so is value but that's that's not the point there eh? my use case was based on at the current price of dash and if you would invest 22 150 dollars worth of dash by just buying versus buying the same hash power on genesis mining for 2250 dollars in the period of two years time would you receive the same amount of coins versus the amount of coins that you will receive today with buying it at the same price okay so let's continue we charge 2250 for 500 megahertz, which, if nothing changes, should yield over 4000 in value in a year. That, of course, is based on num numbers this very minute, but these numbers change. So, this number very minute, so difficulty is not included in that. Difficulty is growing, so likely you will receive less coins over time. Correct. Dash value could go up, making those less coins worth more. So here, this is not the way I explain the use case. Huh? So yeah, of course, if the value is going up of Dash, then it can be profitable. But that's not the use case. But it could also go down. And calculators do not give certain numbers either. For one thing, calculators always use ideal numbers. But reality is always slightly different from ideal. Our contracts run for two years. I know, not just one, I'm not saying that. Which we think gives you a good opportunity. Whether it's worth it to buy a mining plan is up to a personal estimate. We cannot tell you what the coin will do or what the difficulty will do. We may even have different opinions about how much difficulty rises. You mentioned 25% per month, but the chart here, blah blah blah, over the last 100k block seems to suggest hash rate doubled over 6 month time. To get it doubled over 6 month time would mean an average growth of 12.5% per month. But even then next month it could be 25 or 50 or 5%. Okay, so maybe my uh, website that I've used for this was not correct. But still there is an increase then of 12.5%. If you calculate that further then it's also still the question if my use case is correct. Still in the end you should always follow your own thoughts in this. If those thoughts tell you it's not worth it for you, then wait for a better opportunity or think about how you wish to receive the mining returns. We allow you to choose a few coins for payouts besides Dash, so that's a good feature indeed. That is complicated as you would need to do your homework, keep up with the exchange values and have an understanding about the coins you choose for payout and what they are worth and might be worth. Yeah, yeah, good tip. But you should always do your homework anyway, even if it's just for deciding to choose a dash mining plan or not. You can even think if you pay for a mining plan about how you will pay for it or when. If you pay in dash or bitcoin or any coin, then since value can be quite different between days, try and choose a time where your coins is worth most. A single day worth $100 will buy more than the same single day worth $80. How and when to pay and how and when to choose different periods also have an effect on profitability. If you mine for profit, and most people do, then do not assume you will make profit just because cryptocurrencies are magical. Wow, thanks for the advice. I, I'm, I, I'm new to crypto. <laughs> <laughs> Spend time and make a good educated estimate of possible returns. Maybe you will decide that it's better to buy and hold coins or do a mix of both. Just do your homework and make your own plan. So yes, thanks for the tip Genesis Mining. I will do my homework. I will keep on testing this and I will update you guys on how this works out. And in the end, on a longer period, if everything is according to the right expectations, of course, and then I will start upgrading again, but then I will upgrade like crazy, so uh, be prepared. <laughs> if my calculations show that it is indeed better to mine than to buy, then I will do some major upgrades. So let's see how this will work out. I will keep you posted. That's it for today. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.